Hello everyone, it's Hindas. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Cosmo and Timmy and today's video is a second part of my full face of monochromance. I'm just gonna put the dogs down for a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna be showing you how to create this look that I did on the beautiful Jody. Now this features a lot of the purples and as well as a kind of monochromatic moment on the cheeks and lips. And I use the full monochromance collection as well as incorporating some of my original products into the look. So if you want to see how I created this look, then please keep watching and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Hindash. That's where I post a lot of these sneak peeks before they get uploaded here. And I'll see you very soon. Bye. All right, so here we have the beautiful Jody, and I'm going to be starting off with skincare as always because I really love to prep the skin before makeup. And I think it's very relaxing watching the process. I always love starting skincare with a bit of a mist and I'm going to be using the Tata Harper one and just spraying that generously all over the face and down to the neck and chest. And then I'm going to be following up with a hyaluronic acid. This is one from Vichy that I really like. Tapping it all over the skin and then rubbing it in until it has sunk in. And I love using hyaluronic acid because it adds a thin layer of moisture and then I can go in with creams. And don't forget to take this down the neck as well. So then I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base and adding a kind of a bit of a generous layer underneath the eyes and tapping and rubbing that in. And I'm kind of creating very light circulation and just tapping it in and going over the brow bone and lid very lightly. I've just really been enjoying this eye cream. And then I'm going to be going in with a moisturizer. This is one from Le Mer and applying a generous layer all over the skin and again, taking that down the neck. And what I'm going to be doing with this is really massaging it in and make sure that I'm really giving her a massage and circulating that blood flow and really pushing that into the skin and getting things going. And of course, I love a good moisturizer before makeup, so this really just locks everything in. And then makeup goes on top of this so beautifully. This is the part where I add some down the neck as well. And just really take the time to rub that in and massage it in. For lip balm, I'm going to be using this one from Glossier and just applying a generous layer all over the lips. Again, so that by the time we get to lips, they're nice and hydrated and moisturized and you just have a bit of that residue left. So then it's perfect for lip application. If your lips are dry, they will feel so much better if you apply this like a lip mask. So don't be afraid to add a generous layer. For the skin, I'm actually going to be skipping foundation, but I will be using concealers in a bunch of different tones because I feel like Jodi has a lot of really beautiful undertones going on. So I don't want to add one color to take and cancel everything out. I really want to work in harmony with her skin tone. So I'm adding more of a warmer color all around the mouth and the jawline, and then rubbing that in thin layers. Because I'm kind of relying on this concealer more for a color correction and for color tone, and not so much for coverage. And then a bit of a darker color around the hairline and forehead, and just making sure to really rub that in seamlessly into the skin and taking that same color all around the face, so into the cheekbones and around the perimeter of the face. Then I'm going to be taking a lighter, more golden undertone on the cheeks and slightly underneath the eyes as well, and really just work that in. I'm going to be going over this slightly on the areas where I've added that really warm concealer around the mouth so that it all blends in and comes together and really work and push this into the skin. I'd like to do a combination of buffing and then tapping it into the skin. Take a bit down the neck, nothing crazy. And that is where I'm stopping with the overall skin for now and then going in underneath the eyes. So for this, I'm taking a lighter color because I really want to highlight and brighten this area. And I'm going in with a different formula. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. The other one was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this first layer is my highlight tone. So I'm kind of placing this underneath so that the color that I put on top, which is going to be warmer, is going to just balance everything and create this really lifted, highlighted look. And now I'm going to be going in with a darker concealer and just apply that all around the edges and slightly over 
the concealer work that I've done, just to melt everything together. For setting powder to set underneath the eyes and all over the face, I'm going to be taking a very golden yellow undertone. This is from Makeup Forever, and I'm going to be applying that with a fluffy brush underneath the eyes and then tapping it all over the face. I'm using very thin layers just to really set everything in place and push it into the skin. So the skin looks very velvety and not heavy because we've gone in with very, very thin layers. If you think about it, there's just one thin layer over the entire face. Then I'm going to be using that concealer to go over the eyelids and just neutralize everything. This is going to be the first base that I use overall the entire lid. And then I'm going to be going in with another base for when I get to the shadow. But this is the first color I'm going with. So just really buff that in and tap it into the skin. Next, I'm going to be taking my eye tone in the shade Intra. This is my baby. I love this product so much. It is the perfect chocolate brown pencil, super creamy, super smooth, and ultra blendable. And I'm going to be basically creating a wing with this and pushing it into the lash line and just basically tracing her eye shape and winging it out. And as you can see, it's so creamy and it just glides on. And I'm going to really refine the tip and then create a cut crease with this. So I'm following just over her natural socket and kind of following her natural eye shape, but extending it upwards. So kind of enlarging that lid space and connecting the ends into a kind of a sharp point, a wing. And you can smudge this out for more control. And then keeping the center free, I'm gonna start off from the inner corners and then connecting the two so that I kind of mimic her entire eye shape, but just enlarge it, if that makes sense. And it really helps if you look straight ahead as you're doing this, so you can follow through with the eye shape. And you can blend the edges slightly because we're gonna be going in and blending everything even more with layers of different shadows. But this is our groundwork, basically, for the shape that we're doing. And now that I've matched up both sides, I'm gonna be going in with an eyeshadow base. And this is from MAC, it is the Paint Pot in Layin' Low. It is a very peachy undertone, so it's going to kind of create a highlight on her lids and not really be a white base, but still give us that really beautiful neutral highlight. And I'm gonna be filling in that space where I wanna add color, just to kind of make everything nice and crisp and to add that extra layer of an eyeshadow base, because the one we used before was only concealer. I'm going to be taking my Monochromance palette and I'm going to be basically working with Antidote for this look, which is the purple. And I'm going to be creating a gradient purple. And my initial inspiration for this is to create that gradient purple. So how it looks like on the pans and translate that on the lids. So going in with the darker purple, I'm going to be going in with a packer brush. And this is what I love using to pack on color. So any flat, more fluffy brush like this works beautifully for laying on the color. I'm gonna be starting off on the outer corners and laying that color down. So getting in there with my brush back and forth, not tapping the excess because this formula doesn't have any fallout and just going straight in to the eyes. I'm basically filling in the eyelid halfway from the outer corners up to the middle of the eye and then patting and packing that color on until I'm happy with what I like. When I'm happy with the color, I'm going to be moving on to the lighter shade and just flipping the brush over and taking that lighter color and again packing it on to the inner corners. So the inner parts of the eyes up to the middle. And as I get to the middle, I'm going to tap on to the center to blend them together, but I'm also going to be flipping my brush back to the darker purple and tapping over that line so that it creates that seamless blend. So basically you're going over the two colors to marry them together and create that really seamless blend. So I would definitely recommend using denser, more fluffy packer brushes to pack on color. I switch between natural hair brushes and synthetics, but I feel like most of my brushes that I use are natural. I do have mixes for creams, but uh, really good synthetics pick up product beautifully as well. I love the My Kitco ones. And it does that really effortlessly just by flipping your brush and going between the two colors. And when I'm happy with the intensity, I'm gonna be moving on to creating more depth on the lash line and coming back to this in a bit, but I really wanna create more depth, so I'm taking my hairline eyeliner and going over the lash line and creating a really thin 
black wing. So following the line along the lash line and basically mimicking everything we've done with the brown so that acts as a guide, I'm going to wing it out into a very fine point, keeping everything nice and fine. I'm lifting the eyelid a tiny bit just so I can really get into the lash line and wiggle that liner in. And then going back to my Monochromance palette, I'm going to be taking Match Made and dipping into the darker side, which is Made. I'm going to be using a small pencil brush and then tracing around the brown liner that I've done and just basically blurring out the edges. So this is going to create a more diffused blend. And with a fluffier brush, I'm going into Match, which is that mustard yellow, and I'm going to be blurring and diffusing out the crease. And taking it further into the crease and brushing it and blending it into the brows. So this kind of sets the area and adds a bit of that warmth and highlights it. And going over underneath the brow as well. Now that I have that really nice blended edge, I'm going to go back in with my Intra Eye Tone Pencil and just basically redraw that line so we have a really crisp brown line and then you have that blurred edge. Because I do want this to be more of a graphic look. So trace all along those lines and make sure that you sharpen your pencil so you have that really nice crisp edge. And take your time. I'm going to be dipping into my Butopsy palette because I want to go in with the matching shadow for the pencil, which is also called Intra in the Butopsy palette. And I'm taking that and I'm going to be using my pencil brush again to really intensify that shade and blend it out. So you have the same color tone really just being diffused out and blurred out. Then I'm going to be taking a fluffier brush and taking Intra again and just diffusing all the edges and blending it out so we have that really smoked out look. Tracing all along that brown pencil that we've done, again this is a matching color so it's really going to work in harmony. From my Butopsy palette I'm going to be dipping into Feel and Tan and just buffing out those edges even more just so we have that really seamless blend. I'm taking my Fenty Matchsticks in Truffle and just sculpting the nose a tiny bit to add that shadow and contour. So I'm going underneath the nose and just defining the tip of the nose. And then taking the brush that I blended the concealers with and just buffing everything into the skin. For a touch of highlight, I'm going to be taking my color fluid in the shade Boy Tears and putting a bit of that at the back of my palette. And then with my finger, I'm going to be tapping it on the high points of the nose. And this works best applied with fingers, just so that it applies in a soft layer. I want to add warmth underneath the eyes, so I'm taking Heartthrob and Match Made and going into the darker shades, mixing them together and going underneath the lower lash line, focusing that on the outer edge and blending it downwards almost on the folds of the eyes. And this creates this really beautiful burgundy shade, almost mimics the eye tone color on top, but it's definitely more burgundy than brown. Next, I'm going to be dipping into Heart, which is that lighter shade in Heartthrob. It's a more peachy color, and I'm going to be applying that all over the lower lash line in the center and going inwards. So you have that gradient from the burgundy to the peach. Applying a bit of mascara on the lower lash line with a fan brush, so we have a very delicate application. I'm then going to put a bit of Boy Tears on the back of my palette again, and taking a small, dense Packer brush, I'm going to be applying that on the center of the lower lids. So first creating that really romantic sparkle, but then building it up to more of that metallic look. So as you can see, I'm kind of smudging it in so that the sparkle can be distributed throughout. And then I can go in for a more controlled application. I'm taking a bit of that on the inner corners as well for that very soft inner corner highlight. Then I'm going to be switching over to a liner brush and taking Boy Tears again from the palette. This time picking up a thicker amount and because we have that liner brush we have more of a controlled application. I'm going to be following along the tear duct to about halfway on the center of the lower eyelid. Just creating that really romantic stripe of shimmer. For lips I'm going to be taking my lip tone pencil in Hush. And this is that perfect caramel nude. I'm going to be applying it all over the center of the lips, actually, and blending outwards. So sort of filling in her lip with this color. And it's such a creamy pencil. It's going to glide on, and you have that really beautiful precision and ultra blendability. So now I'm filling in and tracing along the entire lip. 
and really working that pencil into the lip so that we have that beautiful color application. And now that I've filled the entire lip with my lip tone pencil in Hush, I'm going to be taking the eye tone pencil in Intra and then lining the edges. So we have that really beautiful ombre lip, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just outline the entire lip and then slightly feather in the edges because I'm going to be applying the lipstick on top. And for lipstick, I'm going to be taking my Manifesto lipstick in Call Me Peaches. And this is such a beautiful, really peachy color. It's a very vibrant peach and has that true peach orange undertone. So it's going to look really beautiful on Jodi. First, I'm going to be applying this with the lip brush because I want to blend in and push that color in with all the other shaping that I've done. And that way I can really blur all these lines together. So blurring the lip tone along with the eye tone. So we have that gradation of peach, caramel, and then that chocolate brown. So taking a lip brush and working in thin layers, I can then build it up straight from the bullet. I'm going to be defining the lip a bit more with the pencil and just kind of going back and forth and seeing how happy I am with the shape. And now I've created this really beautiful peach lip on Jodi, which I think works really beautiful on her skin tone and with the look. To mimic what's going on with the lips, I want to stay with that monochromatic feel. So I'm taking Heartthrob and applying that as blush. So it's a very peachy blush. You have a bit of that rosy red undertone and it's going to show up so beautifully. You get to see hints of that peach and the pink but it's still a very vivid color that looks like it's lit from within. And I'm mixing the two shades, but focusing on heart, which is the lighter color. Applying that on the cheeks, a bit on the tip of the nose, forehead, and chin. With a liner brush, I'm going into Match Made and taking Made and just emphasizing all her beauty marks and slightly feathering it into her brows as well. And I'm gonna be finishing off the look with a bit more blush because this looks so beautiful on Jodi. And that is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this purple look. We still have that monochromatic feel because all the tones that are going into the eyes, cheeks, and lips are that very warm peachy color. But then you have this really beautiful vibrant purple on the eyes, which is an ombre from the lighter purple to the darker one but it still is that really beautiful pastel tone. And of course, we have that pop of shimmer on the lower lash line with boy tears. And finishing off with a bit of Call Me Peaches, which I think looks stunning on Jody. I love it so much. So I really hope you enjoyed the look. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below and what kind of look you'd love to see next. I'm still working on all the tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me at Hindash on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you very, very soon in the next video. Bye.